Yeah, I think so. Good. All right, sound looking people. Uh, welcome back to episode twenty of the Jollof After Jumma podcast with myself, Ibs. Um, oh, what happened to the applause, man? I like man. I, I don't like this thing. I can't. Man. I like it. <laughs> no, I like it's the wrong. applause, man. I like the applause, man. I like the applause. I like the applause. Man. I like the applause man. I've um, heard stuff as well. That, oh man, man. not even the applause, man. No. I don't like the others, but I like the applause, man. Um, sorry, so I call Mister Abdulmalik. Very tired in the house, but Alhamdulillah, we're here, man. Yoo-hoo. What? Introduce yourself, big man. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Assalamu alaikum. My name's uh, Abdullah. You know the last thing we said before we started recording. We're gonna clean up these intros, man. We're gonna clean up these intros. <laughs> I will try again next week, innit? <laughs> okay, go through it. Go through it. Me. Yeah, um. Oh right. yeah. Uh. Socials. Um. Instagram is Jollof After Jama. Uh. Twitter is JJ underscore Pod. And um. Email for anything is Jollof After at gmail.com. And so, what's yeah. your name? I, I did that first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Attention. <laughs> <Keep going. laughs> Anyways, yeah. What are you saying? Uh, alhamdulillah, I'm good, man. Uh, went back to work on Thursday, so I knew, and I did a half day. Honeymoon is finished. Yeah, yeah it's done. It's done. So, yeah. to life. Oh, what, you got a honeymoon from that? <laughs> yeah, I was on annual leave because I was meant to be away, but then actually. Yeah, so. No, wait. So if you say you got married at work, you get uh, oh. leave. I booked leave off. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you it just wasn't said... that they didn't give it to me. Oh, okay, no, okay, I booked okay, time okay, off, okay. but then yeah. To be fair though, I mind because um, it was first wave when I was married. They yeah. said like every annual leave got cancelled, but they said ah, okay, we'll allow you. I didn't actually tell anyone I was getting married. Uh, I told cool. one of my managers. I didn't tell anyone else. Oh, so yeah, I just I was just booked time off and yeah, it's meant to be away. Covid. So. Yeah. Are you man saying you man getting the vaccines? Yeah, it's become the daily, the weekly corona. Yeah, literally, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting mine on Sunday. Inshallah, I have to for work in it. So yeah, um, same. same. Yeah. You know, it, it, quickly, there's a quick piece of, I think, obviously, I was a, I was, I was kind of in the camp of you probably heard from before that I'm gonna leave it in it for now. Mm. In it. But then um, I heard some advice here from somebody, and this is interesting. There's an advice from somebody who I typically disagree with most things they say. Yeah. So I think this is growth as a put as a, for me and I'm shouting myself <laughs> out. You know normally people often, depending on the messenger, they won't take the message. But yeah. man, man said he basically said it was like, ah, oh, healthcare professionals, firstly, you're privileged in that obviously there's a lot of people that will probably are scared and want the vaccine mm. that can't get it. And also the fact that later on it might be be a thing would be, be like yellow fever where you you're trying to fly out and then you you know you they say you need a vaccine and three hundred pound in some next pharmacy to get mm. like same day all that stuff. So the fact that I could just literally bop somewhere and get, and get it there's that free, yeah. I, yeah. So I just thought life after let's just do it. That's like, fair it's enough, it's yeah. probably yeah. So um, yeah, it, fam, take it probably, paracetamol. It, though. Yeah, it really fam. Second yeah. day after, I almost got sent home. Yeah. I was finished. So, I was. Oh, you've had it already? Yeah, I had it um, oh, man, okay. on Wednesday. What symptoms were you getting? So obviously the arms, your arms dead, yeah. yeah. But that's kind of normal. But it, it hurts, isn't it? Yeah. And then we did the we did our zoom after as well. Yeah, so yeah. my arm was finished. Mm. Um, and it's okay as long as you don't try, like if you try to lift your arm up high like that, mm. it hurts. But when you're in bed, yeah, like l- sleeping on that side hurts so much. Mm. Like it, it, like as in to the point where it just wakes you up. Mm. So you just have to sleep on your back like your undertaker. Fan. Yeah. And then um <laughs> and um and um. I don't know, because obviously I didn't sleep. Then the next day, shiver, like shivers. The fever, some people get worse, but I had a bit of a fever. So I just felt cold, like my bones felt cold. But my head oh, was okay. spinning. Yeah, my head was spinning. So yeah, I, I, I was telling you on the Zoom as well, my missus got it as well. Yeah. She was, it wasn't as bad as what you're saying, but she the was having like, COVID. Yeah, she got the vaccine as well. Okay. Like, yeah. I tried to fast in it on that mm. first day. Yeah. Mm. I, like, and I've, I get headaches a lot with the fasting and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I had to break it, fam. And it was like two o'clock. From when you're, you've got two hours left, then yeah. you break it, yeah. That's yeah. when you know it's peak because yeah. you might as well firm two hours in it. Yeah. No, I couldn't yeah. firm it. It was peak. Right. I needed a paracetamol. Yeah. But then I, as soon as I took it, I was, alhamdulillah, I was fit. But I actually had a patient that came in and told me, I don't know if she was waffling, but she told me that her daughter got the vaccine and then got COVID. Yeah, because yeah, it can happen. Yeah. It can happen. So, she probably had right? it in her system. Or mm. yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, I'm, yeah, man. I'm getting mine, like I said, I'm on Sunday. And then you will see. 
So no, don't so, let anyone tell you that judge is telling you that, you know, don't get the vaccine. We kind of did, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we definitely backtracked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's the what episode? Delete the tapes, fam. Delete the tapes, fam. Delete the tapes, fam. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh. Cool. You're listening to Jollof after Juma. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, there were people saying, what about halal mortgages? What about halal mortgages? What about halal mortgages? And one person... Um, one person even recommended me, they sent me a link to a podcast where the two brothers were talking about um, uh, halal mortgages and how, frankly, if that is an option there, why are people not taking it? Mm. And on that, I just wanted to say, without without disrespect, what the two, I don't know about halal mortgages in general, but from what those two brothers were saying on that podcast, there's a bunch of waffle in it because... All of the whole point of that halal mortgage from the Islamic bank and whatnot is negated by the fact that for you to get the insurance, you have to, you basically have to get um, insurance. Did I say insurance already? Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, for you to get the halal mortgage, you have to get insurance. And my thing is, if you can't, if you're providing a service to Muslims, specifically Muslims, and you're charging more, if you can't do it, Okay, cool. Charge them or whatever, but if you can't do it, and make uh, uh, in a in a way where you're removing the forbidden element from it or the questionable element from it, don't do it at all. The question. Wait, hold on. Insurance on what though? The mortgage. Yes, on a house. Sorry, you have okay. to get insurance on a house. What's wrong with that? Insurance. Yeah, but there's no interest involved, right? But insurance. No, no, only only compulsory or. Insurance is, is a is a techie. The only reason thing. why insurance insurance is questionable, at least. Like in a in a best case scenario, insurance is questionable as Muslims to be by, to be taking out insurance policies. Okay. The only reason why, for example why a car why a car insurance is possible is because you have to get it to follow the law of the land. Yeah. And the majority of the scholars have said it is permissible for it is allowed because there's no other alternative, there's no way to drive without having insurance. Yeah. That that's the only reason why uh, uh, um, you're allowed to get insurance but home insurance it's not like necessary home insurance phone insurance gadget insurance travel um, insurance it's not permissible um, or at least let me not say it's haram because that's one of the worst things you can do without being sure but at least best case scenario it's questionable okay I'm a Muslim and so what you're saying is that the banks that are uh, I guess advertising halal mortgage are advertising insurance along with it and they're saying you have to get insurance yes with it. they're yes. saying you have to yes Otherwise, you can't take out the policy because uh, it's, it's long. I don't. I don't do, know for sure. I don't want to say stuff. I'm not sure. Do about. all companies that sell mortgages say the same thing, or is it just them that's doing that? I'm not sure about all, but I think so. I think well, in the conventional mortgages, yes, you have to get insurance. But yeah. what uh, these halal banks are saying is, if you want to get insur- uh, a mortgage with them and pay the rent instead of insurance, and how it's, uh, I was into the podcast. They were saying um, it's a. Uh, I think I wrote the word down. I mean, maybe before we go forward, we should. It's clarify. a liable rate or something, or label rate or something like that, which means it's the same. The re- amount you're paying in rent is the same as the what you would pay in interest in a conventional loan or whatever. But for me, that's not the issue. The issue is they're offering a service where they're trying to advertise that they're making it expensive because they're not competing with anyone because they have to make their money back and whatnot. But they're still offering. Insurance, yeah. yeah, they're making you get. They're making the transaction questionable. Questionable, yeah. And if you're yeah. gonna offer it to Muslims, your whole thing you're offering to Muslims, and you can't make it a transaction where nothing is questionable. There, where yeah. don't do it at all. I don't mm. care if you're not gonna survive. Don't do it at all. Mm. Like, I'm. I'm gonna say it's not as simple as that, but it's as simple as that. If it doesn't make sense, but yeah. do you want me to clarify why insurance is questionable? Just so um, you. something in regards to. I don't, I don't want to say it's, actually because I might get it wrong and I don't it, want to be offering yeah, false information but, but it's yeah. along the lines for me to paraphrase from what I understand do you want to go ahead? No, go ahead? For me to paraphrase from what I understand is something in regards to uh, gambling and how you pay is similar or on the same lines of gambling if, if I'm wrong correct me but no one's going to say anything anyway because <laughs> no but they, they would they would, they would. no they won't no one's saying nothing so um it's something along the lines of gambling and 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 how you pay a you pay a um you pay a fee and what you're due to collect is 
it's 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 the uncertainty. Uncertainty, yeah. yeah. It's uncertainty, and, and, gambling, and whatever. You know, I'll just I'll just put the exact thing on, in the. Yeah, I'll, I'll over. I'll put it on top of them. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like talking about stuff. I'm not sure about. Fair enough. All I know is that, um, uh, yeah, insurance. But is the thing, yeah. Right, but so. if people, um, if people are, if people are gonna hear them, don't do something, then they're gonna want to know the. They're gonna need the evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, so, yeah. so, so, that's on us. We'll get that. We'll get that to you, inshallah. Sure. Um, see, things I know why it's not permissible, and I know, but I don't want to say something that is not. Yeah, right. hundred, hundred percent. Um. Yeah, so um, should we get into our team for today? Try, man. Uh, ready? Sorry, quickly. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. to go back to mortgages. Sorry, five more minutes. Yeah. Uh, sorry? Five more minutes. <laughs> five the minutes thing, is a long thing, time. The thing, the thing with mortgages is everyone goes up, Everyone goes on about, oh, yeah, I bought my first house. It's, 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 it's culture in this country to say, oh, we've reached an achievement where we've bought our first house. Mm-hmm. But... Have they actually bought it though, or is it a mortgage that you're in for thirty five years? Yeah. And in Islam, you know that mortgage, not not even mortgage, just a debt is a form of. That's why when you're given to charity, one of the one of the levels, one of the lower levels of people you can give to are people who are in debt because it's somewhat equivalent or on the same wavelength to people who are in, who are enslaved. Yeah, yeah. So, how does that? Like in regards to freedom and it's culture in it. When I say you bought a house, it's culture in it because if you go to if you go to other places in Europe, the concept of mortgage and blah blah, blah is not even a thing. Mm. Whereas it's just in this country, like, in this country, in our culture, it's something that is celebrated in it. But as they say, is, man. Um, yeah, it's literally it's a culture thing because if you go to other countries, this this conversation it, it just not it's not even a it's not even a thing. Yeah, because the mortgage culture is just not what it is in this country. Mm. It's it's just marketing and that. And the um, last thing I'm gonna address was I was given I was scolded kind of for asking for not giving a specific example on what to invest basically, or a case study on someone investing in property, whether it be long term or short term, that they can make a lot of money from or whatnot or whatever. Um, about quite a few people. So basically, the example I'm gonna give for literally two minutes. If you take from it, you take from it. If you don't, you don't. So let's say somebody has 150K. Let's say someone gave me, dropped 150K on my lap. What I would do with that money, as I said to you before, as I said to Abdul Malik in the car, was I would, um, I'll buy, I'll go to a place where, I'll go to a place where there's a uni, a, a big uni or whatever, because we're in a recession and unis tend to make even more money because there's a lot of people looking to change their career path and whatnot. There's a lot of people that are not satisfied or they're not out of job, so they want to study and use that degree to get a job. So what I'll do is I'll buy a house, a big house that is near a uni, and then I would probably convert it into multiple rooms, get a HMO license. For those who don't know, a HMO license is a home of multiple, home of multiple occupancy license. And then with that, I'll then let out the rooms. That way I can increase the income mm. that I get uh, residually rental wise. And yeah, make a lot from that. Increase the yield, percentage in yield and whatnot. Yeah. So that was two minutes. Was There's it? your example. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> huh? no, you, you kept on the two minutes. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah to be fair, well done. Um, <laughs> um, cool. So should we get into today's I mean, into the meat of today, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I'm gonna spring something on you, man. Yeah, that's different Marriage. than what I than from one. Yeah, that's the different. M-word. That's different than what I said just before, yeah. Right. So overall, yeah, obviously we're gonna talk about marriage. It's a big topic in it, and if you're gonna do it justice, um, there's no point trying to tackle the whole thing in one thing. It was a stress, man, because he hates this topic. But yeah, whatever in it. Um, first one I wanna kind of bring up, yeah, is the financial side of marriage yeah because obviously this it's a controversial one um so i think my first question yeah is going to be financially <clears throat> well actually no forget financially but who do you think yeah gets a better deal in marriage islamically brothers or sisters 
Financially? No, just, no, generally. Who gets a better deal? I think it can go both ways because. So if you had to pick, if I had to pick, no sitting on the fence. And think of, think know. of, think of today's, um, today's society as well. So I'm today's society. No, but I'm, I'm talking. But that's where we society. we live in today's society, bro. So yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about today's society. Yeah, but you said being married as a Muslim, who gets the? Yeah, Muslims live in today's society. We're, we can't. We're we're affected by where we live. Okay, what today's society it says is uh, men and women are meant to both work and bring the money in. And uh, what else does society, today's society say? That that it's it's a it's a Western it's a living a Western society where and what does that mean? Where the key themes of key things and things that are pushed to everybody is that everybody is equal, everybody is the same, everybody has the same opportunities, everybody should have the right the same rights everybody should have ownership to do what they want and blah 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 that's Banda. that's the themes I'm, but, I'm, in, in, I'm, but I'm, in in essence those aren't those aren't those aren't bad things saying yeah. that oh everybody should not all of it are bad not all yeah, of it it's, are bad it's, things, it's power but a lot of those things it. don't they don't they don't you can't the morals that we have as muslims and and how we should aim to live in a household they can't it's impossible to hold some of those values and some of these values in the same, you can't. They can't run. I think a lot of those values are, but like most of those values are Islamic values, though. But it's just that our right. our sharing. It's it's just that the way they transpire and the way that they translate is often different. Yeah. For example, what equality means to some people. For example, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a in the modern culture. This is the, probably the main one. Ignore tries to kind of ignore the fact that there are differences in men and women. For example. Not that one's better than the other, or one's um, less capable, or one's stupid, or one's not, or one's, mm. but there are differences in it, and there are one th- different one, different men and women are suited to different things, and within that, there's always oh, going to be exceptions. For example, the fact that if if a man is bed bound, for example, <laughs> the woman's going to be after the one after Islam or not, the woman's going to have to be the one in the family to do more of the supporting, yeah. you know what I mean? stuff like that. So to like that. So there's always going to be, or even that's an extreme example, just to prove the point. It's not just the, but like there's going to be times in it, or there's going to be adaptions to the rule. Yeah. But um, yeah, like it's th- these aren't it's un-Islamic things. Just the, the way it transpires in modern culture is a bit different. So what I'm saying is that in our culture, like in not in our culture, sorry, in in just modern society or whatever, who gets the best? So think of like think of your general population of brothers and sisters that are in. And this is of everybody, like from the most striving to just like your normal people, that whatever that everybody, we're all Muslim, we're all part of the same Ummah. There's not, there's not, there's not. Do you know what I mean, we're all one community. You can't deny that we're all Muslim under the same creed. Who, who, who gets a better deal? I women. think before children come into the picture, the the women, the, the the females have have it easier. If we're talking about conventionally, a woman. Uh, taking a care, taking care of the affairs at home and whatnot, and the man going out to work. But if we're talking about both going out to work, both no, because yeah, because again, even if both are working, conventionally a woman's money is meant to be her money only, and a man's money is meant to be his money and his wife's money. Mm-hmm. Before children, before after you have children, it's different because. A majority, not even majority, but a lot of the burden, I'm not going to say burden, a lot of the pressure of raising the children, of making sure things are correct at home, of keeping a household together intact, whatnot, keeping the affairs, whatnot, lies on a woman's hands. A lot of the teaching that the children are going to have will come from the mother. So that's why I say it evens out, whereas the man just has to make sure He's bringing in the money in, and of course, play his part as well in raising the children and educating them and whatnot. But oh, it was you go actually. How don't you Men go? Or you go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll, um, I asked the question. <coughs> you better um, pat on your attitude. You, I know you don't like marriage. No, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's weird. It's it's just because my head sways both ways, isn't it? 
the same. It, just, it, it swings both ways, so it's, it's it's difficult to give one answer because I feel like if I get, I can't give a specific yeah, answer. You're gonna have time to explain without without looking at the flip side. And this this um more or less what Dulla said. Um, I think I would lean more towards saying that um brothers get a better end of the deal when it comes to marriage. Um, because basically, like you said, um kind of the main responsibility is being the head of the household and bringing in money and if we kind of try and balance out the workload and say that uh, obviously so primarily a woman's job to to take care of the affairs at home and then kind of bring in our modern day society into it that they'll have to that most women will go out to work as well and have to come home and then deal with the affairs of the house as like I said primarily not saying that um, some men don't do any housework, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's primarily. So I'm washing the bath. <laughs> yeah, but Prim- I shout out T. He knows who he is. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, we can cereal we can, bath washer. We can joke about it. Shoemaker. If we follow, if we're following, our, if we we if we try to follow the example of our prophet, so 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 we're meant to be doing those things. We're meant to be helping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Be, yeah, like there's, that, that's, there's, there's even if even if we're joking about house chores, there's certain stuff a, a, a woman, even if she can do it, is going to be difficult. Yeah, so that's why I said that's why I said primarily because like I'm not, I want I help out around the house as well, even though yeah, primarily, but it's primarily. Um, I would it's say, not what the streets are saying, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Primarily, a woman's job. So obviously, like I said, you balance that with women going out to work and then having to come home and deal with the affairs of the house. And it's in that sense, I would say it's easier for brothers and brothers get the other the better end of the stick when it comes to marriage in that sense. But then if you want to, I guess, go into it financially, then that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, that, that would be my, in a nutshell. Don't worry, we'll have more time. Yeah. So like, so before I answer, yeah, like if we define like what is modern society, yeah, yeah. because it is, it is so like, for example, and this is, I guess, you know, production is kind of education for certain people. So, like in our side, yeah, I feel like we have a we have this weird mix, yeah. Mm. Where we have from a brother's side, for example, we have, and yes, and this is this is wider side as well. Let's say men, yeah, in all side, let's say men, yeah, a lot of the essence of what being a man is or has been historically and previously in time, yeah, like a lot of the pros or whatever the things that we want or that is advan- advantageous to men to have, the men seek it. So you often see this in like the traditional conk af, or the, the traditional conk af like um, family saying, yeah, where for example, let's say they've come to this country and then they've everything to do with you, do you must serve me. I will not step in the kitchen. Um, I don't do chores, you know, I, when I'm in the house, I have to be served and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All of those kind of aspects kind of stay. But then um, when it comes to the flip side, the woman, because of just the, net, the financial pressures, for example, being in a country like this or just the way that it works, mm. the woman who's obeying and following all of those it's, um, traditional roles or whatever, but she's still doing that at the end of a, at the end of a shift. So she's working too. Yeah. Whereas the whole system kind of all of those, exactly. all of those, um, all of those, those um, traditions are based on, do you know what I mean? There's like a yin and a yang. Mm. So the yin can't be there if the yang's not there. Yeah. It will, f- to be fair. So the 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 uncle that's, and I'm saying uncles. This is not just Nigerian thing or the African thing or whatever. But the the the, the, the uncle that's saying, you know, I come home from my work. I come home at seven from work, and my food must be ready. This, but I, from the woman that got home at half yeah, an hour he's before you, he's, he's been doing the same. Some bills. I, 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 and I, and even in more time, they'll be they'll be half in the bills and blah blah blah. So that. Not that this is what happens in all society, but I'm cool. I'm from the flip. Anyway, did you want to say something on that? No, just yeah, just I, I personally dislike that kind of behavior. Yeah, but it's a, it's a thing, you know, and and, like and it. it's like a lot of men, I guess, for example, like that if they could have that, way, that's how they ideally life should be, in it. Yeah, it's like regardless, like, there's a lot of I, this should be the case because people think this should be the case because I'm a man. Mm. It's not because you're a man. It's because, like I said, the yin and the yang in it. Yeah. And if you take it to the the, the the on the on the woman side, we was, now in modern society, for example, there's there's a there's a kind of feeling that like there's like a push or from what this is kind of this is all my observation by the way. None of this is fact. Isn't it? What people start saying, I think I know everything. Um, for 
the women, yeah, or there's kind of like a thing where it's like, and chip in if you want, there's like a pushback to that, to that notion that, oh, men are going to do this. So then men often, women often come out with, with the, with a feeling that every man is trying to trap them in that life. Yeah, because I feel like, especially in certain cultures or like I've had people, nah, just in certain cultures, I just feel like a lot of the time, sometimes when when men get married, for the wife, it almost feels like they're taking over the role of a mum. Of, of yeah. So like when I was, I, I've had people come to me, I remember when I was in uni and I was training, I've had someone come to me and say, um, oh, I wish I didn't get married I should have just stayed boyfriend and girlfriend because it was just so much easier mm, because yes. when they got married and they moved in with this man, it's just like, you're literally looking after them mm, and they're not mm. doing anything. So it's like, and I've, and I don't, I, like I said, I feel like that comes into play for certain cultures mm. and in other cultures and other aspects. She's a witch, bro. Men are... <laughs> You're in uni. You're in uni. You've been married, so I'm guessing you haven't been married a, lo- a long time. Yeah, you're already. No, she wasn't already... in uni. She wasn't in uni. She was oh, okay. like I said. I was, I was training at hospital, so oh, she, she, was, she was she was older than me, so she'd been married a couple of years at that point. I think I don't know. Doesn't matter, bro. You're already coming to uni students. Your students telling your students, oh, complaining about your husband. You're she, always, was, she was telling me personally. It wasn't doesn't like matter. Thing. Doesn't bro, matter. Is that what they come to you? Are their you problems, still not yeah? a student? No, no, no. I still go through. It's still not a student. <laughs> why is she coming to you? It's not that. It's it's not that deep. Oh, why is she coming to you? Must it, it's must no. Must it, it's shoulder uh, to cry on. Yeah. You man are taking Absolute it so madness. left, fam. You know that guy. You man are taking no, it no, lock, left. Lock your missus. Lock your missus. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's like it's not. Think what back to what you were saying. Like it's that generation. I'm sorry. What? So we're not paying you today. Now I was just gonna say is that like a slight generation thing, like uh, what you were saying earlier? About um about um like the tradition of like having like once you get married, then you've got your like the role as a man and a role. In regards to what the 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 ma- the woman mother and the man, yeah, and so then also I, like taking like ex- being expected to like come home and like make food and things like that for the man. That's is that like still <laughs> is that still like a general? I think whole man, I think I think slightly, yeah, I think yeah. slightly, I think it is like cultural generation thing, slightly. It is, is, is it is, because, it is. Let's let's be real. It's part of the culture that agrees. That, that our religion agrees with because the ele- ele- yeah the, element that's, yeah. That's, that's, yes. that's it comes from of, somewhere that's in one it. of the wife's responsibilities to cook for us mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know about the other stuff that's why I said specifically the, the, cooking and that's why I said slightly because what you, what the, the example you gave before about a man coming home from work and expecting to be mm-hmm. somebody, if we're being honest most of our dads will fall into that camp sorry just to just yeah to kind, kind of, of, kind of yeah. Yeah. my dad loved yeah. cooking it so it's different but yeah, yeah. Second thing I want to say. One of the comments I got was, "We bash culture a lot," and what I just want to say is, culture can be good. Like culture can be culture good. is as good. Long as culture it is, is good. As it, I don't think we bash culture. I don't. I don't, I don't agree I with that either. We, we try and be on both sides a little. Yeah, yeah. You said that. That's what I got. How many times um, have I said I love the culture? Like, yeah, I don't anyway, agree with that. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, fair so, enough. Fair so, enough, though. Fair enough. I bear that in mind. Didn't it? So one thing I would say on that is, cultures culture can be good, and culture is good in general. But as long there's no issue, what I want to say is there's no issue with culture as long so as our religion agrees with the religion. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't contradict, exactly. contradict the yeah, religion. And and there's no point um just accepting something that's just not good or yeah morally a bit dodgy or just yeah just negative because, because it's culture yeah. because yeah. that's that doesn't because make sense. Anyway, so yeah, so what I was saying was um I think it is slightly a generational thing. Because um, yeah, like like I said, um, I think most of our dads will kind of fall into that camp. Whereas, it's maybe completely different about with our generation. I like I wouldn't. Let me not say I wouldn't come home and expect that from my wife, but I can I can appreciate that. Well, if we've both been out at work, I'm not gonna come home and say, "Where's my food?" Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we've both been at work all day, so I'm I'm not gonna I'm not. It's not uh, yeah. I'm gonna appreciate the fact that she's been out at work and yeah. Do you know it's the I think I think it is. Like it, there's aspects of it that are generational, or whatever that are gonna get trimmed down. But like, 
it does come from somewhere and the place where that come that comes from means that like it resonates with a lot of people yes to the yeah, point where yeah for example like i know that for example a lot of people when they a lot of people don't complain about things nowadays or don't voice their concerns or whatever because the fact that they know that the way society is no one's gonna be no one's gonna cry for them mm. so for example i'm sure there's a lot of people that if if, if like they do believe that and they will probably fall into this into this behavior that like certain natural or certain what they think is not the natural order of the way things should be it's either i expect it and if, I, if it doesn't happen i'm just i'm not gonna be happy and it's gonna be inside them and secondly it's like yeah it's, it's to me it's the main thing is that it's there but because of the way society is now, you know you, you can't just say things. You can't, like, n- nowadays, you can't just, you can't just voice every, anything you want because mm-hmm. there's going to be a lot of people that are going to attack you for it. Yeah. So that often impairs. So there's a lot of people with a lot of, okay. and you'll see it when you, and the thing is, another thing is, you'll see it from, how, like, how many men do you know, yeah, that are, like, for example, do you know the whole, like, I don't want to, I really don't want to get into this, but you know the whole, men are trash thing yeah, yeah. from no but we're not we're not we're not gonna like, get into that but what, it's just it's just that yeah hold on let me finish it's just yeah. that it's just that in 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 a lot of these things for example basically the point i'm trying to make is happen behind closed doors mm. and you don't get a lot of these things out in the public because no yeah. one wants to say these things in the public because they don't want to get castigated in it mm. so <laughs> no, <I didn't. laughs> they don't want to get castigated in it so so i'm so seven in a castigation um yeah um they don't want to get castigated but when they're behind that's what i meant about they're going to be inside and it's going to come out in different ways and different yeah. frustrations and blah 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 because yeah. they believe that they should get certain things in it mm. yeah so it'll come out that's why a lot of a lot of the quote-unquote toxic or whatever things about people come out behind closed doors in it because mm. people know what society is society has made it very clear what's acceptable and what's not acceptable in it yeah so you don't see these things just out there in it like, i mean know. i guess maybe among the muslim community you don't but in general but you if, do it in in Cause, it's cause, in the muslim community because this yeah. this yeah, this yeah. this generation is is rife with just um just um exposing their sins and yeah. telling people what they've done and what X, what X, Y, Z has done. So maybe, yeah. maybe not even, and, and slightly within the Muslim community as well. Um, there was, TikTok. not even just TikTok, there was, there was, um, there was a clubhouse room going mm. on like last week. I wasn't in it. I knew, I, I knew right. because of it. <laughs> <That's not laughs> <trial, laughs> <don't worry>. a <laughs> Hello, disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in this room. I heard about it because it, it, it was, was an opinion, so. it, it was all over Twitter, but um, it was basically, a room i think the room the name of the room was um was match is ghetto and this was just um a bunch of people inside this room and they were just basically sharing their bad experiences with was match in it so um like i said it's not i don't think it's primarily muslim community but i guess that's maybe debatable but i guess yeah um those kind of um, examples you were given about um us not seeing these things until it's behind closed doors sometimes more time nowadays you do see it because it's just it's, it's people people are not afraid to just put their business out all over the net nowadays yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You, one just, thing, just the, yeah, one yeah, thing i was going to say about social media was um in regards to people because uh, one i was going to say this once you reminded yeah. me about it um well you can hear me now yeah, yeah. um one thing i want to say is don't feel don't 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 um act or don't let what people say on social media affect your marriage because you're seeing what people are saying yeah these men are saying all kinds of sally and all mm. these people are saying all kinds of nonsense about i won't let my man do this or see how i got this or whatnot meanwhile they're taking nonsense at home you know, and you're yeah. there like oh she's not having it i'm not gonna have it and you're letting that affect your marriage i feel, I feel like, like and yeah. you're gonna feel the repercussions i feel like um that's that that's a really good point and what what i've what i've noticed in the past couple of years is that people I think find it very very difficult to separate social media and real life and reality. people need to remember social media is not real yeah. it's it's an entirely different it's, it is not a real world it's an to, entirely different to, place to, for example yeah on social media yeah like look at look at me okay domestic violence yeah yeah we're I find it. I am very. I'm almost ninety nine percent sure. This is my, well, in my opinion, anyway, that social um 
domestic violence in our generation is not going to be lower than it was in the generation before. Yeah. But if you look at yes, if you look at if you look at social media, bro, everybody is, and that's what I meant about how, is not yeah. and, and, yeah. and exactly what you were saying. If you try and hold your relationship or your marriage to the standards that you see, on mm. you're going to be disappointed. Mm. Hell of you're people going to be. So, so, me and me, yeah. me and a couple of were talking about this like the other day. Married women are going onto the onto the internet, judging people. To, not even that. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. They're going on the internet. To Hello. ask advice, sensitivity. To, to, <laughs> if, you're, if, you're getting, if you're getting abused at home, it's not funny. No, uh, no, I have no sympathy for people. That that, yeah, because they're talking crap online. Yeah, they, they, it doesn't mean they deserve to get. It doesn't mean they deserve to get. And actually, the thing is, I'm just saying. Influence. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not they're disagreeing with you. They're actually influencing people. I'm not disagreeing with you. And then they get free kicked at home, but like it's happy days, and they want to. Dollar, it can't run. Dollar, it can't. Know, if, you, if, you're get, if you're getting, if you're getting, if you're getting, if you're getting abused at home, it, it's gonna mess up your mind. I'm not so condoning that. I know what you're I'm not condoning is, it, but you can't, you can't under. Yeah. It's it's a it's a it's a hell of a uh, uh, what do you call it? Right, let's, move you? let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um. Anyway, just to finish my point, I was saying married women. I'm seeing married women are going online and they're asking advice from people about their marriage from people that are not married. Yeah, how does like, how, how how does that even make any sense? How can you be taking advice from somebody about your marriage from a person it's that's, 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 that is not married and has a, never been married? That's a that been doesn't married make any for less than a year because they're an influencer. It's a social media thing. That doesn't but, make but any one, sense. That is thing, stupid. One thing I mean, that us guys calling stupid. ourselves married one thing, though, one that's thing, ridiculous. One thing though, well, and and is. and please, I'm not please, I'm 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 not saying I'm the authority on marriage. And please come to me because like, I I only married I only married a year yet. So so yeah. So I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to say. Yes. I, I know everything, but I'm just saying like that you know, doesn't make, that 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 makes no sense. And just because what this person has, how many followers? It's it's yeah. stupid. One thing, it's though, stupid. One thing though, just to slightly counter, one not counter what you're saying. And I want to get us back on track anyway because we're running out of time. But do you know one thing though that I do you know why people I think why people um go to the internet and go for do you know what I mean go to like influencers or whatever mm. for two reasons yeah, especially if somebody and this the, that person that's getting hit. For example, at home, that poor person that's getting hit at home. Yeah. Why? The reason why I can kind of understand what they're doing here, just kind of play yeah, the advocate. Too. It's two things. Um, one is that I'm people serious. just social media, in any case, regardless of whatever's going on in your life, yeah, people just do want validation and, and attention on social okay. media. And you can get if you have something that's quite um, sensational to say, then people are gonna use it, either if it's negative or good or whatever. That's one thing. And the second thing here yeah, is that. The reason why sometimes you can, I think you can, you don't, you can take advice, not advice. You can take, you can, you can go to somebody who's not married. Yeah. Not because sometimes, yeah, you need somebody who's not in a situation to be able to remind you of what the standards are or what the ideals are that you want to subscribe to because yeah, because yeah, we all have, let's say you have a, an ideal. Yeah. So I, so me, my name's at the minute. And when I get married, I want to, and this is how this is how I want my life to be. So forget okay. everybody else. But what I want for myself okay. is that I want to be in a marriage where I get pancakes every day, mm-hmm. and and I get my foot rubbed on a Wednesday, mm-hmm. and and I I don't know, and I have jollof rice every Sunday, yeah? mm-hmm. and that's my standard. This is what I believe I deserve. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. I deserve this. Mm-hmm. And then three years into my marriage, I'm not getting any of this stuff. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then I don't know, I've recorded and I go to my phone and I see memories pops up and then I watch a video of myself and it says, I I want, uh, I see myself telling myself, I see myself recording my phone saying, when I get married, I want this, this, this. And I think, oh yeah, that is actually what, okay, this is a silly example, but that's what I want, you know, I feel I deserve this. So put jollof right and put serious things on top of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is what I deserve in it. Cool. Sometimes it takes the person who hasn't been beat down by everything because you know sometimes society and life, for example, if you like when women do was talk like for example, um would you say that um not let's say you're somebody with a black and you've got business dreams or something, you wanna or you wanna or you wanna study, yeah? yeah. Say you wanna study. Is having all is the excuses of life or is the is the busyness of life, blah 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 blah, always a valid excuse for not doing things that you should do? Not always, innit? No. Yeah, so bringing that into this example somebody who hasn't been 
beat down by the experiences of life and blah okay. blah blah. That is why I can understand why people will go okay. to it because okay. they will remind them of what. It's almost like them. It's almost like they're going to themselves before they've become beat down by life. I understand that someone else can see it as, oh, they could be they could be living a marriage that is good, and they don't see any issues, and then they go on social media. And then they start comparing themselves yes, to people. people. And do you know what? Yeah, it's not even that. Oh, just, wait, just, yeah, I'm not actually yeah. happy because, yeah, yeah, yeah. because of X, Y, and Z. Yeah, 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 but to, to, to count on what you're saying, okay, cool. I understand that. But until until all of those things that you said yeah, become mm-hmm. a reality, like you said, it's an idea. Yeah, yeah 100. And it's, it's an idea. So 100, 100. how can you be going to someone who hasn't obtained those things, has an idea in their head, and listen to their advice. It, it's it's waffle. Mm-hmm. For me, it's waffle. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense. Like, if, I can't lie, Depend, with, yeah. with the people that you surround yourself with is so important as well. You need people around you that are going to give you the realness, that are going to give you the harsh realities of life. If that's going to deter you, then mm-hmm. maybe it's going to deter mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. but... Having people around you, having yes men around you that are just gonna waffle and say, "Oh yeah, do this and do that, run and get yeah. married," like it's it's not practical advice because 100, when you're 100. in that situation, your friends aren't gonna be there to help you. 100, 100. It's gonna be you dealing with the harsh realities of what's going on, and if they haven't prepared you for that because yeah. they waffled and said to you, "Yeah, go and get married, go and do this, it's happy," it's not all like that. It's harsh as it is. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with anything you said. In it. I just feel, I, I do I do think though there is. The, there is a counter side that sometimes, especially when it comes to advice here, yeah, I do think there's often <coughs> an advantage to, and it st- doesn't appeal to all situations, but some an object like objectivity in the advice you're getting a lot of the time, because yes. because sometimes you need that uh, that anchor like that takes you back to, to because, because you back for to example yeah. on the flip side of what you heard yeah. Yeah, how many times have we heard that 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 age old example yeah of of, of that anti that will and it's kind of it's, it's a cultural thing and well, I'm, uh, and I don't want to attack culture I know I'm paro but you know that cultural thing that like oh um um you know that anti that tells everybody that oh your husband cheated on you six hundred times no don't don't leave him don't leave him you know that that type of that type of that yeah. that culture yeah. whereas that whereas and that is married people and you know sometimes for example w- w- people who are in situations if you're going for example a married person going to somebody who's married and that married yeah. person is going through their own nonsense at home okay. getting, and because they, they don't even know what what standards are now so mm. to them because they've created a situation where they've been happy for themselves living in in, in sadness and living in in crap yeah that they're gonna they're gonna um impose that on you and they're gonna tell you oh what he only hits you ah no don't worry you can you can bear through grin and bear it and then yeah. you've got two unhappy people do you know what I mean yeah. so that's why sometimes and that's why I brought that point. It's not that I necessarily agree with it, but um, with that point about um, going to, um, obviously I don't go into yeah. influences and that for advice about marriage and stuff. I but think, yeah, but yeah just, it's just, just that just, kind of. I just think. to clarify my point as well, it was it's it's not that I was I, I'm bashing people that go to influences for advice. It was just that um, I think I kind of strayed a little bit and I went because even even when I when I was about to get married, I had I I had huh. I'm bashing people that go to that. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Unless this, this influencer is a is a marriage counselor, <laughs> why are you going to marry? What, 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 like, um, what, you know, uh, you know, what, what, all I'll say here is that, all I'll say is that, what accolades does this influencer Let me finish up, let me finish up. It's true, you're stupid. Because yeah. man has 10,000 followers, you're going to them for marriage advice. These times, man's been married just, for three just, months. Just, just, for just, I'm, not, I'm going to talk, talk, talk for 20 seconds here. Just, yeah. just to add some balance, <laughs> that if somebody is... Be, so if somebody is in a situation... Watch Disney movies. If somebody is in a situation where they are back to the wall and they are in a, in, a, in a deep state of, you know, negativity turmoil, and yeah. turmoil, that they are may make decisions or may do things that don't occur to be the most sensible. But yeah. in a state, but let's say they may just go to that influencer because they just need a bit of comfort, and you know they're going to get yeah. that somebody that's going to be nice to you. Yeah. So let's 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 be balanced because we, we can't be nice let's be because we can't we can't get some help. Yeah, but they may not know that the help is available. Remember, the, you don't know what you don't know what you don't know what people's situations are. Like, so like so, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just um, balance. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm not I'm not bashing people. They go to influence for advice influences for advice i mean um i think even in my situation when i was about to get married i had 
I had friends on both sides. I had friends that were telling me, um, yeah, just do this, yeah, just do that. And it wasn't necessarily the most, um, it wasn't the most practical advice because it would have caused a lot of problems for me in the long run. And if I had, if I had followed- Can you that, share any of this dodgy? Okay, no. Cool, cool. <laughs> if, I, if, if I had followed the advice, it would have ended up in a lot of problems for me in the long run. And I had, I had people on the other side who were kind of tethering me and bringing me back to reality and okay, saying so let, that if you do yeah. X, Y, if you do what X, Y, and Z is telling you to do, it's going to cause this, it's going to cause that. And these are the harsh realities of marriage. Like it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Right. If see see, see, right see some of the stuff that like m- me and that like, I, for example, and I think, like T would would, would yeah. have been giving you yeah. was it's kind of stuff opposite to that. So let's say it's like some of the stuff that I said to you. At, at yeah, the, is yeah. it kind of stuff that's on the other side to that? Um, I'm not referring to you in, in my example, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. But, but um, kind of. Yeah, I hear kind you. Of, I hear you. I hear you. Kind of, yeah. Um, man, that just you know, they, yeah, 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 them vicarious man, yeah, 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 yeah. them man, them man. Yeah. You probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it's just important that it's it's like I said, it's 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 nice to sometimes have those friends that will push you and they will support you in anything that you do, but then you do also need friends that will that will give you just give it to you straight and tell you and and i'm from a place of experience as well because experience is the best teacher so you need people that are that are going to be around you and they're going to tell you that look um when you do get into this situation it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows it's not things are things do get difficult you get and just yeah basically just just the, just the harsh realities of things and sometimes it might deter you might bring the spirits down but in my opinion i think it's better i think it's better that you kind of set that expectation for yourself at the beginning and know that um well what's the saying um i can't remember the saying but basically it's just better to learn from other people than other people's mistakes oh, than, man learns yeah, from mistakes yeah, it's, it's, it's better to learn from other people's from mistakes than, than making the mistakes yourself and then having to learn the hard work yeah, hear that, hear that. just so, to yeah. add to that what i would say is um it's good to have mentors in life that you go to for different aspects. Mm. So you have mentors in life, you have mentors in business, you have mentors in like. Um, so as I was saying, yeah, it's good to have mentors in life that you just go to for different things. So you have mentors in business, you have mentors in life, in marriage, and just people that you can go that you know you can go to when you have. So for example, when I have issues in. Not issues, but when I want to know more about stuff in life and whatever, because I'm only 24, I go to people I know who are 30 and have gone through, I go to like, mm-hmm. people like Ahmed or whatnot and I ask, okay, how did you do this? How did yeah. you? And if I want to... Um, someone, someone gave me, like just when I got married, someone gave me a, mm-hmm. a, a beneficial piece of advice that I think that, that I think is quite beneficial. I've <laughs> said that twice. Um, but someone said to me that... Um, if you're having issues yeah. in your marriage that you shouldn't don't actually speak to it. yeah basically don't 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 speak to family no. or don't and the best thing to do is that you go and speak to and this is this is if you can't solve the problems solve within, within yourself yeah yeah that the best thing to do is is go and speak to like a wise elder basically someone that can be impartial a bit external yeah also you can, can be impartial you, and look at both sides you can seek you go, advice yeah because for example if, if i go to my parents there's gonna be a bitter taste always. Naturally, yeah. she's going to they they they're gonna take my side oh, naturally. Yeah. And the bitter taste. Be exactly. and, the and you taste. might forgive you know, forgive your wife. Yeah, I'll forgive my wife, but they It'll might not. And yeah. flip side, yeah. if she goes to her parents, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So yeah. it's so yeah. someone the advice is that it's it's always best to go outside of the family and find an elder that can be impartial and look at both sides of of the argument and deal with it that way. Because yeah, just um, yeah, just to add to that. You can get advice from, like I said, said mentors, but you can, if you're going to do that, it's best to make sure you can dress it up in a way where you're not directly you know, yeah. talking about your specific issues. Mm. So for example, let's say, I don't know, you had a you had an argument with your wife and you don't know how to conduct yourself and whatnot. You can kind of speak to someone and say, okay, like, obviously I know a lot of people when they get married, they do this and to do not how would you say someone would react or how would you well, i don't know just dress it up in yes, a way where you don't need to say my friend because yeah. that's big 
You're not selling the, the whole house. Yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not giving anything away, if that makes yeah. sense. You're asking how they specifically, as a person, would deal with this situation. Mm. And you want to learn from that. Um, mm. Time, time's short, but um, yeah, man. Um, I think we're going to have to do a part two to this, you know, because we didn't actually answer the question. <laughs> but it's, it's life, isn't it? That's why, that's why I was thinking, that's why I was just going to say it's production, yeah. That, like, um, it was like, oh, yeah, like, what, 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 so what's, what's on the menu for today? I'm like, boy, I can tell you the menu, but so there's a lot you, can, you can order a burger, but you'll get steak yeah. on your table, in it. So, <laughs> you see what I mean? It is what it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I've heard you guys like hearing about marriage, so. Ah, you know it was um, in a nice place. Um, <laughs> Just dragging up. You but, guys, um, but, um, you guys um, let us know what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think we're gonna have to do a part two to this. You wrap it up. Huh? Yeah, because yeah, I, I think to be honest, I think firstly we've got three minutes left before yeah. I discuss. And Apologies, secondly, yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry about the short episode. Yeah, so it's a short episode. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's we're not recording. Yeah, 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 so yeah, things are so busy. So Cor- coronavirus is calling yeah. me in it, so I have to go to the yeah. I have to go to work for. Yeah. Um, but um. Yeah, I think we we'll have to do a part two. I think yeah. there's a good place to leave it because we're not going to get into anything meaty yeah. after that. Yeah, so um, just remind them of all the stuff. We will have um, a second part of this episode because it, it's actually been a pretty decent topic. See, I told you. Right, man. Man. Right, man. I have my reasons for not wanting to. And it's, it's not that I never want to talk about it. It's just, it's, it's not yet. That's what it is for me. It's just, it's, I hear it's, that. It's, it's not yet. I hear that. That's why I don't particularly like having conversations about this topic. But, you, but, but, you know, I feel like Obviously, is the platform's there, yeah, and we got I'm here now, some little then. tiny bit of yeah. experience, yeah. Of yeah. So, no, 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 no because no. little tiny bit of experience that I feel like we can, like people, people want to hear this stuff mm. being discussed by people that are like like them, us yeah. in it or like them, even yeah. So, so like I said, um, please, and it's needed if, as well, like because because yeah. like at the end of the day, there's people like us well. that are that are not gonna have. That are not going to be able to hear the kind of or be privy to the kind of information that we've got for that we alhamdulillah have been lucky to get from our yeah. people. Yeah. So that is that's why we get informa- that information that it's, it's our duty yeah. to Think pass that on. Age, in it. How many people you know our age and our background talking about this? Fair enough, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, if I've if, I, if I've said anything mad that's offended anybody, please forgive me. It's, it's, this is just my humble opinion, and if you disagree, I I be happy to have a conversation with you about it but I can yeah listen. if you if you if you're anything exactly marriage related, anything marriage related yeah. feel yeah. free to correct me and if you don't sure. like if you want to if you want to message on the brothers on the on the on the on the on the pod um then shout us on the dms or on the email um which is in the description and yeah. if you don't want if you want it to just be one person for example ibs is ibs is insta's there yeah mine is um not i'm joking it's there as well so for, for yeah. if any reason if you specifically want to talk to any specific person then you can feel free to approach us directly That's and true, we'll yeah. pass you if you can answer it we'll answer you yeah no, not production production doesn't want you to be, <laughs> doesn't want to be contacted don't message me <laughs> don't message him, really. um, and, <laughs> and, and, uh, um yeah and if, if we cannot answer we'll answer inshallah and if, yeah. if we can pass you on to somebody better qualified yeah. if that's what you want then we can point you in that direction as well man yeah so yeah man all right see you we'll stay safe up, um Allah. it's been well, like, um, grant us pious spouses. Me, if you want to message me, you can send me some post. <laughs> May Allah grant us uh, pious toast. spouses and, uh, and allow us to live in uh, the harmonious bliss together in um, this life for the next, um, inshallah. Um, uh, Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.